Hi, I'm Damien from Advanced Therapy Solutions. Today I'm going to show you a new thermoplastic material that we're using here at Advance. This product is called Orphicast. It's uh, in fact Or Orphicast More, which is a product that's double the size of its predecessor. Now, we're going to make a hand-based thumb spiker today, so we need approximately 18 centimetres of, of our material. Quite easy to cut um, before it's been heated. Uh, it's quite soft, it's a textile material that's, that's woven and impregnated with um, thermoplastic. Here we can see our, um, our traditional uh, butterfly pattern. Uh, you can see that it that uh, you know there's there's actually no need to trace that perfectly onto our Orphicast more, although you can if you like. You can see that uh, we've got a similar uh, a similar length to our thermoplastic, but not quite as much width, which is fine. This product is quite stretchy. What you'll notice with the Orphicast product is that when you put it into the water, it shrinks. The, the product to our patient. Always make sure that your patient is set up in the position first. You don't want to be doing that while you're handling hot thermoplastic. So we pinch it on the ulnar side, we can forget about that, that piece now, and pay attention to our dorsal component, which is the most important part. That's where the person's going to be getting the support for their thumb, okay? So we're pinching it on the dorsal aspect, and then using curved scissors to cut that section. This product is just beautiful. You get this lovely seam where you've cut. And the final step is just positioning your patient. We want some slight flexion through the MCP joint. We want nice neutral uh, joint through our, through our MCP. So try to limit radial and ulnar deviation through there. So I'm just fine tuning our splint now. We want to cut off all the sharp edges. Okay. Getting our final shape. This part's going to be where our Velcro loop attaches to, our Velcro hook here. You can see some of these edges as they dry hard actually are quite sharp. So I tend to go around and cut all those off. You can see how easily I'm cutting this product, which actually is quite rigid. You can see how easily I'm cutting it with a very simple pair of curved scissors. Quite a user-friendly product. So we're just finishing off our splint now. We're gonna put some straps on there. Uh, many of you will have put straps on a thermoplastic splint before, so we do it in a very similar way with one small change. So the Velcro loop, that can be secured directly onto our thermoplastic. So three seconds of heat, three seconds of heat, and then we just press the two edges together, okay? And we, we get a nice permanent bond by doing that. Securing the hook is a slightly, slightly different though. Now, most adhesive Velcro hook won't attach to this product while it's wet. What we simply do is get a, um, a dry piece of our Orphy cast. We heat that with dry heat to make it just slightly shiny. Okay. We also heat the adhesive of our Velcro hook and we join them together. Okay. Now that will be an absolute permanent bond. The next step is to secure our dry heated Orphy cast to our wet Orphy cast, which bonds absolutely perfectly. Okay, pressing those together quite firmly.
and we have a permanent bond. Okay. Rounding off your edges to make it nice and nice and pretty. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this is just another way that we're um, innovating with thermoplastic at advanced therapy. Thanks for watching.